Good evening and welcome to the Bristol Community College High School Equivalency Graduation Ceremony. My name is Nancy Labonte and as Director for Bristol Adult Education and on behalf of program and college staff, we thank you for celebrating with us tonight and for supporting our high school equivalency recipients on their educational journeys. This 2021 group is a special one who, through their dedication and personal commitment, achieved this milestone during a time of unprecedented challenges in their personal and work lives. 2021 recipients, you amaze us. Tonight is a night of celebration where we honor these achievers for their commitment and their determination to improve their lives and those of their families through the earning of a high school equivalency credential, one that opens doors and creates new opportunities for growth and success. It is now my pleasure to introduce to Bristol Community College President, Dr. Laura Douglas, Bristol's fourth president and a true champion for adult education and lifelong learning to share a congratulatory note. Welcome and congratulations 2020-2021 high school equivalency recipients. I'm Laura Douglas, president of Bristol Community College. It is with great pleasure and honor for me to celebrate this important milestone in your lives. Congratulations on achieving your high school equivalency credential. Celebrating with you, our family and friends, as well as your Bristol family, all of whom have been key to your success. Let's give your support team a big round of applause. I know that the adult education team and the entire faculty and staff at Bristol are proud of each and every one of you. We know that adult education high school equivalency students are some of the most resilient and hardworking. You have managed work, family, and a myriad of other life responsibilities while working toward this credential. You are an especially impressive group, managing all of this during a year that brought great hardship and challenges. As the world changed in ways that we could never ever have imagined or adequately prepared for. We applaud you for your commitment and the personal grit and determination that it took to achieve this educational high point in your lives. As you know, the high school equivalency credential is well respected and recognized nationally, and it will serve you so well as you continue on your life path. Whether your next steps are to get a better job, move in a new direction with your career, or to pursue education, we hope that you will continue at Bristol in one of our many wonderful and competitive programs that the college has to offer. Congratulations again, and best wishes for continued success. You did it. Thank you, President Douglas, for your uplifting and powerful message. Now let's hear from a recent high school equivalency recipient, Louis Moraes, with his reflections on achieving this credential and the value of adult education in our community. Hey guys, we did it, class of 2021. All right. So uh, good evening. Um, I'd like to welcome family, friends, faculty, and fellow graduates. Uh, I first would like to express how truly honored I feel uh, to have been asked to speak on behalf of the graduating class of 2021. Each one of us has had our own reasons to return to school. Some of you might have come back in order to get a job promotion or change your career path. Uh, while others came back because you set a personal goal. The reason I decided to get my high set was because in my career, I felt I kept being overlooked for promotions. Uh, it was difficult watching my coworkers continue to obtain advancements while I was not able to achieve them, uh, making me feel left behind. This was what I considered my brick wall in life. Uh, it seemed I could never break through it. Uh, there are countless reasons why many of us did not finish high school. Uh, maybe at the time we didn't realize just how much technology would advance and develop into the world we find ourselves in now. Uh, most of us, I know for sure, uh, 
didn't think we fully understood just how much of an impact not graduating high school would have in our lives. When I was 16, I really didn't enjoy going to school. I was never really engaged in learning. I just wanted to work and earn money to help support my family. Both my parents immigrated here from another country and didn't speak English or have an education. They were forced into factory jobs that paid well below minimum wage, while I, an uh, English speaker, uh, was able to get jobs that uh, paid much, much more. That, uh, and I also made more money. Uh, watching them struggle financially was, was, was awful. Um, that's when I decided to quit school um, and uh, you know, help them uh, with the bills. Just a few years later, I became a father. I never thought that I'd become a father for the first time at the age of 19. That's when I quickly realized that my lack of education had stunted my ability to get a better job in order to financially support my family. It wasn't until about 10 years later that I was able to finally further my education by attending an HVAC school. It was a trade school. Luckily, the trade school that I picked did not require me to have my diploma because it only required a placement test. It was a 10-month course, and after I completed it, I went right to work as a service technician and have been working in the field ever since. As I mentioned before, I was unable to advance in my career due to not having my diploma. This was when I made the choice with my family's support to you know, return back to school and get my GED. I knew going into this uh, was not gonna be easy, but I never imagined attempting to work full-time, be a father of five, and deal with being the sole financial provider while my wife was in school getting her degree would be so difficult. I always found myself feeling inferior because not only were my children graduating high school, but here was my wife who was completing her master's degree. In part, I was ashamed of myself for not completing school and furthering my education. And that's a shame that I've carried until then, until now. I hope you all agree when I say this past year has been a unique time in all our lives, uh, maybe even the hardest because of the pandemic. We all started with in-school classes, sitting side by side uh, to one another, working on lessons together and having our teachers with us. We never imagined that halfway through the semester, we would have to switch to completely remote learning due to COVID-19. I don't know about all of you, but let me just say, I felt discouraged and automatically thought, well, that's it for me. I'm never going to finish this. During the pandemic, uh, while attempting to learn remotely, uh, it became the busiest time in my company's history. Uh, my company had gone from 30 technicians down to only seven of us. Uh, I had to work longer days and was expected to carry a much larger workload due to being understaffed. Uh, all while facing the shortage of protective personal gear and the fears that went along with COVID-19. The demands of my job forced me to start many days before 6 a.m. and not get home until well after 8. I found myself working long hours to help keep hospitals, nursing home, restaurants functioning uh, to meet the ever-growing demands that the pandemic was causing the whole country. I ended up missing a lot of my classes because of the long days and chaotic work schedule. I was constantly chasing my tail, having to catch up on missed work and even learning on my own. I would spend many nights uh, using the resources we were provided through class. I can't tell you how many countless YouTube videos I watched and even purchased several books uh, like the High Set and even Algebra for Dummies. Um, I went as far as getting connected with a tutor in math, but again, due to my work schedule, I missed those classes as well. So 
that didn't help. And I found myself back at uh, square one. Something that did help me uh, stick with the program was the fantastic, incredible support of staff. They always provided me with options when I felt that I could no longer continue and was just plain frustrated with everything. By problem solving and taking the time to listen to me and my situation, um, they always stuck by my side and continue to offer solutions. So this brings me to the program faculty because honestly, without all of you, I wouldn't be here giving this speech right now. I would like to thank Joe because you always remained supportive and offered guidance even though I was still not getting the basic fundamentals of math. And I know how frustrating that can be for you. <laughs> Most of this was my own fault due to missing so many classes. Uh, however, I ended up requesting to return to a previous math class. Pam uh, was the lucky teacher to get me in her class. Uh, she not only was a great teacher, uh, don't get me wrong, all my teachers were great. Um, but, you know, she stood out. She, she had a unique way of tailoring the curriculum to each individual student's needs. And let me tell you that uh, we were not always on the same page at the same time, <laughs> you know. Um, it, 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 you know, it was quite the feat. Uh, she made sure she was always available for each of us, giving up her personal time to help us in any way she could. Now, this leads to my favorite teacher, Sue. Sue, you were strict, stern, but always fair. Thank you for taking the time to keep me in line. Uh, you would not just let any of us skate by. Instead, you gave us extra work to continue ad to advance in the materials and challenged our learning. Whenever the class would get off topic, your lectures, better known as your pep talks, um, about the importance of learning would always steer us back on course. Uh, you made learning fun each and every night we spent with you in class. I could see just how dedicated, <clears throat> excuse me, and passionate you are about teaching because we all know you didn't do it for the money, right? <laughs> so I would also like to thank each and every one of my classmates by name, but <clears throat> for putting up with me, but we, we just don't have that kind of time. <clears throat> Many of you pushed me and helped me get through these you know, difficult times, uh, especially my good friend, Victor, who did not want to be mentioned in the, in the speech, but <laughs> too bad. Um, I can honestly say, Victor, you were truly inspirational to me. Uh, you know, you would always say to me, don't give up, bro, let's just get this done. And that's what we did. We got it done. Uh, his, you know, his inspiration was, was, you know, meant a lot to me because he was in the same situation. He just didn't have all my kids. <laughs> so, like, you know, like, like me, you know, from one job to another job, just work, work, work. And we still managed to make time to come to class. Most importantly, I want to thank my family. I would not be here right now if it wasn't for the encouragement, love, and support uh, each one of you gave me through this process. All five of my children and my wife would be there for me on those late nights trying to cram in my work. You all answered my hundreds of questions that I had, always taking time to not just give me the answers, but help me understand. Your belief in me 
helped me through what I never thought I could accomplish. You gave me the strength I needed when I felt this was too difficult of a journey. And for that, I am truly grateful and cannot express how thankful I am to have each and every one of you in my life. So, in conclusion, always remember that as long as you keep pushing and set your mind to it, you can break down any brick wall that stands in your way. I feel that I finally have the tool I needed, my sledgehammer, you know, by completing my high set. Like I said, this was my sledgehammer, which allowed me to break through that wall. And wouldn't you know, just a few months after receiving my high set, I got my first promotion. How powerful is that? I wanted to end by saying congratulations to each and every one of you here. Be proud of what you've accomplished. Before I say goodnight, I would like to leave you with a quote from Michael Josephson. Take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go. But don't forget to enjoy the journey. That's the most important part. All right, class. We did it again. Class of 2021. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Lewis, for sharing your thoughts, helping us appreciate how challenging it is to achieve the high school equivalency credential and the fortitude you brought to the task, especially during pandemic times. Your personal journey is inspirational and will help others take pride and have faith in their capabilities. We are all very proud of you and happy to celebrate this accomplishment with you and the other recipients. Thank you also for highlighting the good work of adult education staff, a dedicated and supportive group of talented, caring professionals who take personal pride in this important work and invest heavily in the students they serve. This was especially evident during this past year as they extended themselves to learn new strategies, tools, and new ways of reaching and supporting students during a time that was most challenging. To all of the teachers, advisors, associate directors, and other staff, thank you for all that you continue to do for adult education students. Let's now turn our attention to the awarding of the Diane McMullen Scholarship to a deserving 2021 high school equivalency recipient. This scholarship was established in 2011 by the McMullen family in memory of their mother, Diane, who was a former Dean of Adult Education at Bristol. Here is her family to talk personally about their mother's passion and commitment to adult education, and then to make the award. Hello, everyone. My name is Noah Brandt. I'm here with my mom, Katie, my aunt, Lauren, and my cousins, Anthony and Kaylee. We are proud to present a scholarship in honor of my memory, Diane McMullen. Diane McMullen was our mother and your Dean of Literacy Services. She was an active board member of the Massachusetts Coalition for Adult Education and a tireless advocate for adult learners. When mom passed away in 2009, we established this scholarship to honor her passion for lifelong learning. And for the past 12 years, we have been honored to be included in the ceremony that mom loves so much. In light of the ongoing pandemic, we want to recognize your achievement as graduates with even more awe and respect. You've chosen an unconventional path in your education during an unprecedented time in human history. That takes true resilience, tenacity, and dedication. We hope that this experience will inspire confidence that you can do hard things. Our mother would encourage you to build on the momentum of this milestone in your education. Don't stop today. Keep moving forward on your journey of lifelong learning. We are thrilled to celebrate this year's scholarship awardee, Jessica Glover. Jessica is a student who has showed grit and an unwavering commitment as she worked towards her high school equivalency completion. Overcoming personal challenges and remaining focused on her goals. Jessica, congratulations on this achievement and on receiving this scholarship award. Your dedication to move forward with your education and your career is inspiring, and we hope that this small 
support will encourage you to keep moving towards your dreams of becoming a nurse. To everyone in the Adult Basic Education Program, thank you for allowing us to continue to be part of your BCC community. We are proud of Jessica and every graduate. Amidst the challenges of COVID, there continues to be joy. Today's ceremony is an example of success of moving forward towards a goal, and that is a reason to celebrate. Congratulations. Thank you, McMullen family, for your thoughtfulness and generosity in supporting a worthy high school equivalency recipient on their next steps each year. It is now time for the reading of the 2021 high school equivalency recipient names. Let me introduce Carol Ginsburg, a longtime beloved adult education teacher, to read each of the recipient's names. If you are watching on Facebook, we welcome you to post your words of support and congratulations as these names are read. And students, others, please post any photo selfies as well so that we can all share in the joy of this accomplishment for all. Ajoke Ada Shogun. Alicia Almeida. Rui Amaral. Miley Antunes. Celeste Arujo. Laquan Arnum, Xavier Barkon, Matthew Bossy, Simon Bossy, Audria Braham, James Brosnan, Brittany Cabral, Mackenzie Costa. Yasmin De Jesus, Selma de la Concepcion, Maria De Pina, Shailen Evers, David Fernandes, Rachel Foley, Carly Galligan. Ashley Gautier Hibbard, Jessica Glover, Kayla Glover, Stacy Griffin, Ruben Gutierrez, Caitlin Kinsley, Anthony Macedo, Alyssa Machado. Diana Magalis, Kiana Maloney, Richard Miak, Melanie Moore, Louis Mores, Catherine Mugamba, Corey Overlock, Fernanda Paiva, Derry Delson Pina, Jessica Silva, Sandifer Silva, Amanda Soares, Christine Stevens, Victor Vieira. Thank you, Carol. We are all so proud of each and every one of you and encourage those watching to provide additional words of support and congratulations for all high school equivalency recipients through posting. Please continue to post freely as we wrap things up. On a final note, we want to thank everyone again for taking the time to celebrate with us this evening. Recipients, please know that your educational journey has just begun as there are many opportunities at Bristol to continue on with your education. You can connect with Bristol staff who can help you identify the best next steps for you at Bristol. And you can also follow Bristol on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can find the social media handles for adult education posted here and on the Bristol Adult Education website. Please also use the contact information posted here and on the website for referrals to advisors who can give you information about your next steps at Bristol Community College. On behalf of Bristol Community College and Bristol Adult Education, we wish you all the very best.